Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back, 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 back again, once again, to react to a new Amberlynn Reed video. Now, this past weekend, I did uh, film a video on a Saturday, of all things, to cover some of the little foodie booty Amberlynn Reed drama, and mostly the drama, I mean, go watch the video if you want all the details, but the drama, in short, is that Amberlynn went and apologized to Nader for some weird fucked up reason, and then Chantal got mad about it. And it seems, at least based on what happened on Instagram, or what Amberlynn said on Instagram, is that Amberlynn has no plans to further engage in that situation, and it seems like Chantal is ready to keep her at a distance as well. So I think that's gonna be the end of that, but if you wanna go catch up on all of that, make sure to go check it out. We missed one video from Amberlynn Reed in terms of reacting, so I'm gonna give a recap of that, and make sure to check out the timestamps so you can go wherever you want in this video. If you only wanna watch my reaction, you can go there, and if you enjoy all of the video, enjoy all of the video, you know? We, we're, we're people pleasers here, right? I wanna, I wanna please the masses. I wanna give you the content you want, so feel free to watch whatever parts of my video you want, or none of it at all. Well, I would appreciate if you watched at least part of my video, you know? That is what I'm here to do on, on YouTube, is have people watch my videos, so I do appreciate whatever part of it you wanna watch. So, not watching isn't an option, but watching parts of it, an option. Are we all on the same page? I have no idea why I spent so much time talking about that. Also, that loud banging you heard was just me accidentally hitting this ring down onto the desk. So, the more you know. So let me just do a quick recap of this video. I think this video that I missed was called like New Roommate or something. I guess the new roommate in the title is her fucking scale. The Hello It's Ready <laughs> scale. And she spends like the first four to five to six minutes just setting up this fucking scale. So I don't know what happened to the old Hello It's Ready scale. I don't know if Becky got that in the separation. I don't know if that's something she dropped off and dumped at the Goodwill during Dumpgate 2022. I don't know. I don't know what happened to the old one, but we got a new one. And honestly, truly, she says it's highly requested. She says it's highly requested, but I think it's just a reason for her to buy more shit. And I will say one of the most annoying things about this particular vlog is pretty much all of the inclusions of wifey not on screen but a part of the video like she literally starts off the video with a cute little quirky fun girl moment of like oops i didn't mean to to start filming while you were taking a piss hello oh wait you're peeing <laughs> i forgot sorry babe oh so quirky that you didn't mean to start with that but you still like included it in your final product of your vlog but like i said she spends like nearly the first four minutes just trying to get this fucking scale set up and once she finally finds batteries to put in it she just wants to thank the load all right we found batteries thank the load girl what in the semen are you thinking <laughs> I, I gotta think the load. Think the load. Like, what? Is, am I the only one that that's where your mind went? I know she was trying to be fun and quirky and how she pronounced Lord, like our Lord and Savior. Uh, but I, all I could think of was jizz. And, and further annoying, like, wifey moments, there's also this weird kissing content. Wow. My face is so red. It's because you're just kissing. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm about to take my clothes off. Which was followed by her getting naked to weigh herself. I wanna talk about a few things that I find very frustrating about this particular vlog. One of the things that is so infuriating to me is that at the beginning of the vlog, when she first unboxes this scale, this Hello It's Ready scale, she talks about how she thinks it might be inaccurate. Like, it might not be as accurate as the scale that she already has. So, I will say, like, I don't know if it's as reliable as the scale I have, but now... But by the time she weighs herself and it gives her, like, three to four to five different ratings, she's like, oh my gosh, I think I weigh less than I thought. 
pounds. 491.4. Do it one more time. I'm trying to step on it the exact each time, you know? 490.8 pounds. All right, I guess I weigh less than I thought, so that's a round of applause. Girl, you yourself started this vlog off by saying you didn't think it was accurate. <laughs> like, like, but now, now that it's saying that you might weigh less than you thought you did, oh, it's good. But then, that's the thing, because it gave you three to four to five different weights, you're like, I'm just gonna go with the highest weight it gave me for today's weight. Why wouldn't you just keep using the scale that you've consistently weighed on for comparison? Like, this is not how science works. You don't just, like, spontaneously in the middle of keeping data change the way you're measuring said data. You know, you're, this is no longer helpful to you or your data. It's making your data bad, okay? Your data is no longer good. And the other thing I want to comment on and, like, truly eat whatever the fuck you want. Like, I'm not here to police the way anybody chooses to eat. Uh, you know, I'm certainly not showcasing everything that I eat on the internet. So, I know that anybody, even people that aren't Amberlynn, that people, like, like and enjoy watching, get comments that, like, police is the way they eat their food. So... I, I don't think anybody's immune to that. I'm not trying to add to that. I just want to say, though, that, like, if you're trying to be entertaining, Amberlynn Reed, and you're trying to show me the fun, quirky things you eat, could we please just start eating some different shit? This is the fifth video you've eaten sushi, the fifth video you've eaten fucking ramen in a cup, and the fifth video where you fucking had Chick-fil-A and those lentil bag chips. That bag of lentil chips. <laughs> Like, can we truly just switch it the fuck up or something? Like, I am also somebody who likes to eat the same things, mostly because if I'm cooking something, like, I know the same three or four or five things that I like to eat. And if I'm, like, ordering out, it's always a safe bet for me to just get what I know that I like, you know? I get that. I feel that. But, like, we've seen you eat sushi, Chick-fil-A, lentil chips and cup of ramen 1200 times now. This could be any given day, Amberlynn Reed, you know what I'm saying? And of course this also included some annoying uh, wifey moments where she begged wifey to try her sushi. You want a piece, baby? We don't want you to try it. Please. Baby. Baby, oh my god, please, please try it, babe. Babe, please, you gotta try my food, babe. Please stop this immediately, I swear the fuck to God. And also, I just have concerns because, like, I don't understand what her concept of low calorie is. And this is, I think, what is, like, the only thing concerning about the way she eats food. Because she literally describes her sushi and the Chick-fil-A as low calorie, being low calorie. A time in the middle of today where I was like, oh my God, I feel like I don't have many calories left because for some reason, um, when I had the sushi and then the Chick-fil-A, I was like, oh my God, I don't have many calories left because it just seemed like I was eating a lot, but it was food that was like lower in calorie-ish. And that's just like inaccurately true. Like one, I don't think she really knows how to measure the sushi correctly when she's like counting calories. We've seen her in the MyFitnessPal app just like pick rando things for that. None of this is like low calorie for the average person. So I just like don't understand what her concept is of all of that. But yeah, that's about it. That's mostly what you missed in that episode. There was a lot of filler stuff. I mean, I thought it was ridiculous how long the scale content took. So a lot of it was filler. Uh, and I, I really boiled it down to like what I found to be the most interesting parts of that video. We can now get ready for today's video, which is called Spilling the Tea and Let's Go Shopping. This is episode nine of the, the 10 part series of her weighing herself every day, showing what she eats every day. So we're about to get to the 10th day. I think she should be posting it today, Monday. Uh, July 11th, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. But yeah, let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hello, good hey. morning. So we're sitting at day nine. 
You okay, did it, girl. It's morning, it's afternoon. God, I'm surprised I'm not covering myself with long sleeves because my excoriation, uh -huh. I hate that word. Okay, then don't use it. <laughs> Most people wouldn't know what it is anyways. Just say that you have a picking problem and people would know what you, you mean. You don't, you don't have to use that word. Disorder has been affecting me clearly and you can see it on my arms and sure. I so much, but I can't let my insecurity stop me from living my life. You okay, know? yeah, so absolutely. I'm just gonna accept it for what it is. But people, you need to stop making fun of me about it. Like, damn, I can't control it. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, yeah, I mean, I would agree, like, I, I don't know how it's helpful to, like, make fun of her for having, like, a picking problem, but I do just, like, with many things with Amber Lynn, she says she can't do anything about it, but I would be surprised if there's, like, absolutely nothing in the world that you can do to, like, get help with that, you know? <laughs> like, like, I'm sure it's very difficult to overcome that. But I'm just like, to say that there's nothing she can do about it, I think is probably not entirely true. Like, I feel like there's probably, you know, maybe that's something she could talk to her therapist about, of, like, ways to um, work with it. And she has said in the past, you know, maybe I shouldn't have discouraged the scratch art, because she said the scratch art helped her not partake in it, right? So there are things that you could do, but I digress. Like, yeah, you shouldn't make fun of her for, for what it looks like or for doing it, but to say that there's nothing that can be done about it, I'm not sure that's entirely true, although not a medical professional. My weigh-in, um, I used both scales, uh -huh. my new and my old. Sure. But I'm just gonna start logging my weight with the new scale. No, like shut I the front door, girl. No. <laughs> what did I just say? If you didn't watch the part where I recapped the last vlog, it is literally so dumb because she was so confident that that wasn't gonna be more accurate than the one that she already had, but because it's saying a lower weight, she's going with it. This is not how data collection works. I'm so annoyed. I didn't spend $80 just to let it sit there and still me use the old one. You spend $80 on shit all the time and let it just sit there, girl. You spend $80 on shit all the fucking time and then don't use it. No, that's not an excuse. Also, you didn't have to get this new scale to begin with. What about the money you spent on the old scale? I did weigh myself three times on my new scale, uh -huh. and I'm just gonna like take the overall like that, middle one. That's so stupid! No, that is so dumb. If you literally, this is proving what you said the other day, which is that you don't think it's accurate. If you get on it, three different times and it gives you three different measurements? Girl, that's not accuracy. And if that's not happening on the old scale, then use the old scale. Ooh, she's got me real fired up about this dumbass scale. Listen, I love the Hello It's Ready scale. It is iconic. It will forever hold a, heart, a place in my heart. I mean, it's even made its way to the 1,000 Pound Sisters. We know that uh, Chantal has used it. We know, I think, Life by Jen has used it. So many iconic moments. It's it's an amazing, fun scale. The Hello It's Ready will never get old to me. But you have acknowledged that this is not accurate, so why are we fucking using it? Help me understand, Amberlynn. Thankfully, it was all 491 point something. It was 491.0, 491.4, and 491.2. Okay, well then if we're just... If, <laughs> So now you're telling me it's just a matter of some decimal points. Girl, the decimal points are not that serious. If you're weighing yourself in kilos, somebody said this in a comment, so I am I am taking this thought from somebody else. But if you're weighing yourself in like kilos, like kilograms, you wouldn't even probably notice that difference. The middle of that is 491.2, but I could just take the heavier one, 491.4, and if I do that, that means I stayed the same from yesterday. So. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Um, actually, we're about to take Twinkie. The mental the fucking gymnastics that she does. Uh, like, this is the same kind of mental gymnastics that she did to get to this point in her life where she said, I have to go into Not Our Doodle Do's live stream and publicly apologize to him. Like, the way that she can just make her brain work. 
It doesn't make sense to me. Vet, because as you guys know, she's been on this medicine um, that she takes for her, I guess like small dogs get like messed up knees or whatever. And Twinkie is old, unfortunately. Even though she acts like a, a, a spry chicken. What? A spring chicken? <laughs> is, is it a spring chicken? Oh my Hold god. On. Google. Oh is my god. Friend. Corky Lynn doesn't know something. Ha ha ha. This is so funny. Oh, is it a spry chicken? Is it a spry chicken or a spring chicken? I don't know. I'm so quirky. I'm a quirky girl. Wait, where's my phone? Oh, it's where's my pocket. where's my phone? I wonder if if Amberlynn's the kind of girl that 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 stores stuff in her in her chest piece because you know some people do that, especially if they got big chest pieces, they just store money there, phones there. What's a spry chicken? Oh my God, we're really doing this. A young person and knows is no spring chicken. Spry chicken, used to describe someone full of energy and adventure. I was right, baby. <laughs> no, no, chicken. girl, you are not right. Baby, you are not right. It's a spring chicken. You're no spring chicken. Yeah. A spring chicken. A spring you're chicken. Just, you're just describing the word spry. I mean, you're not wrong. A spry chicken could be a thing, but the saying is a spring chicken. What's a spring chicken? It's a young per so a young a spring chicken is a young person, but a spry chicken is a Twinkie. She acts like she got all the energies when she's playing, but then any other time, she acts like Camatose. 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 Now I know what she's trying to say. I'm I'm not trying to give her listen, as long as you can tell what people are trying to communicate, I think that's primarily what matters. But how do you look at the word comatose and get to camatose? You're making it sound like camel toe, which is a whole different conversation situation type of deal moment, okay? This is too much. Camatose. Comatose. Wait, isn't it called Camatose? Comatose? This whole bit. This is Anyways, dumb as fuck. He's wonderful. I'm he's so sick of her. At, like, sometimes she wants to come across as so smart, and sometimes she clearly wants us to think she's dumb as hell, and I'm sick of all of it. I'm sick of all of it. And then my girlfriend does trim Twinkie's um, nails oh, frequently. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't, in the fear of, like, I don't want to hurt Twinkie. Uh -huh. But I think we're also going to have the vet. I know, mean, we, we're quite aware that you've never trimmed Twinkie's nails. Uh, if you've been watching her long enough, she's had three different girlfriends in the span of time that she's had Twinkie. And uh, she she's literally never been somebody who trims Twinkie's toenails. So I want to show you guys this Twinkie in her seatbelt, and she's harness, still able to lay down. This harness is so dumb, and I think we all collectively agree, like, it's probably not doing what she thinks it's doing, but cool, 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 cool. So it's raining. <gasps> You're a pluviophile, girl. It's raining. Pluviophile Lynn. This is your moment. You guys can't even tell, so why am I showing you? You guys know what rain looks like. I can tell. Oh, oh. Twinkie, Twinkie, you okay? Oh my god. She's scared. Here, let me get her out. Oh my god, the chest piece angle. Let I me get her. I understand what she's trying to do here, which is indicate that she really is actually taking Twinkie store to the vet. It seems like they're having a difficult moment with Twinkie right now. Maybe right now is not the time that you need to be filming Twinkie store at the vet. Do you want to just come in? Will you just carry your ring for me? Right. I know you're Aww, Twinkie was scared. So my girlfriend is gonna uh, take her in. Twinkie usually doesn't get scared like that um, of the vet, so that was weird. I didn't <sighs> of course, of course, wifey's the one taking her in. You know, you would think that if, if Twinkie is uncomfortable with the vet, that Twinkie would probably want the person that she's known the longest 
to go in with her. But I this this is also gonna play into what a lot of you on the internet feel about Twinkie, which is that Twinkie always loves the girlfriend more, regardless of the girlfriend, loves the girlfriend more than Amber Lynn. And so may, maybe that's the case. Maybe Twinkie feels calmer. I'm going to guess it's just because Amber Lynn doesn't want to get out of the car. I didn't have my mask with me, thankfully. She has hers, but you have to wear a mask when you go in there, which is understandable. If you, you tell you tell me you couldn't have worn Wifey's mask? You couldn't have worn Wifey's mask to go in? No, nah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. That is not the reason. Or are you just saying that because you didn't have a mask, you couldn't both go in? I, maybe that's what she's saying, but I'm still like... I would think you would want to be the one to go in with her. So I want to do an update and just say that Twinkie is okay. Mm, my poor baby. Twinkie is okay. I wish I would have had my mask because I wanted to go with her. You could have gone in and let wifey stay in the car. You could have worn wifey's mask. I don't understand. I know that doesn't make no damn sense to me. I'm just so upset because like, I wish I would have had my freaking mask. Because I wanted to be the one to go in there with her. Well, why didn't but, yeah, why didn't you fine. have it? Why also? Why are you not carrying masks around with you? You were like reasonably very scared of the pandemic and COVID. I don't understand why you're like going out and about places now and don't have one readily available to you. It doesn't make sense to me. As somebody who is also like afraid of getting COVID again because I just had it and it was a miserable time of two days of my life. Like I wear my mask most places I go. Like, just carry a mask with you. I don't understand. Because also, even if you're not afraid of it, there are a lot of places that still ask you to wear a mask. So it's like, just be prepared. I don't know, it's not adding up for me, Amberlynn. The next clip is just me sharing a little story time of a bird. And I need you guys to answer the question. Would you look at the bird or would you not? I, this sounds like it's about to be real fucking dumb. I'm not even gonna lie. There's this van literally on the right side of me right now. Uh -huh. It's like a huge van. And there is probably about five kids, I'd say, in the, um, ranging from 10 to like 13. Okay. And what I'm assuming might be their parents. It is two females, though. I mean, it's 2022 still could be their parents you know what i'm saying so please don't take offense to that because i'm i'm a lesbian so okay so <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't understand what the point of including all of this is if it's supposed to be about a fucking bird you could have just left all of that out you could have really done that we were like why are they in the vent like we couldn't see a dog we couldn't see a cat and we were just like so what are they doing? Uh-huh. Then I see that they have a bird in a cage. And I was like, oh my God, a bird. And I'm just like staring because I'm like, oh, it's a bird. It's so okay. cute. I'm just like looking, you know, taking peeksies. And my girlfriend's like, stop looking so hard. And I'm like, but it's a bird in a cage. How could you not want to look at a bird in a cage? This is literally one of the dumbest stories I've ever heard her tell. Uh, wh wh what is the end goal here? What is the fucking point of the story? What is the moral of the story? That you're nosy as hell? That you're nosy as hell? And she was like, there's birds everywhere! <laughs> and I was like, no, but this is a pet bird. There's a difference. Uh -huh. um, I don't know, it was just like so funny. So my question for you guys is, would you be more like me? And would you... I, you well, first of all, I would never be like you. First of all. Know, take a few glances at the cute little colorful bird or would you be like my girlfriend and you'd be like stop looking don't look well i'm guessing your girlfriend was like you're being a nosy ass bitch like stop <laughs> stop staring at these people it's one thing to be like oh look there's a bird and then go on with your business it's another to keep gawking at the bird which i'm sure you're doing and like prying into the, I mean, you literally were able to tell me about the whole entire family in the van. So I'm guessing you were staring for a while. And sometimes people do think staring is rude. Don't look. I feel like people expect you to look at their bird if they have a bird in a cage. That's people, colorful and cute. People and don't away. expect you to know. stare just, though. You know. right, so on the way home. Not saw. more fucking Starbucks. I swear the fuck to God. I swear the fuck to God. Stopped and got some Starbucks. 
So I'm gonna show you guys more what cake we pops, got. more vanilla scones. Um, oh, I almost just spilled. I don't know if you guys know this, but I just learned it. That when dogs have allergies, they lick their paws. Random fact. So we both got a grande lemonade. She does keep things in her chest piece. <laughs> she does. How did I? How did I predict that that was gonna happen? I swear, some of y'all think I'm, I I pre-watched these videos. I do not, and I'm just so thrilled that that happened. <laughs> After I was like, do you think she keeps things in her chest piece? Because she was going like this. She was searching. She was searching her chest piece for for a phone. Calories on this is so low. They, I'm sick of her saying that. 110 calories. I'm sick of her saying that the calories for a fucking lemonade are so low because we have covered this so many times. It's not. I got two unicorn pops. Oh They're 160 my god. Sixty calories each. Uh huh. A hundred and sixty calories for something that you're literally gonna devour in one bite. Literally gonna devour in one bite. Live your truth, girl. Work. So worth it. My girlfriend's gonna have some of one. So. I'll be taking off the calories on that regard. She got the um, turkey pesto sandwich situation type deal. That's usually what I get to and I was going is, to get it. Is it usually what you get to because you've gone to Starbucks in like five of the past 10 videos you've done and I've never seen you order that. Just cake pops and scones. Um, but I really wanted the impossible sandwich. Which was also less calories by like a hundred, so. Okay. I mean, since I was getting the cake pops, I was like, Ugh. so this is 420 calories. It has cheese, eggs, eggs. <laughs> There's just one egg, I'm assuming. Weirdo, it's no baby girl. Weirdo gay, hi, hi, weirdo gay. And um, obviously the impossible sausage, which is. So good. Meatless. Oh. <laughs> meatless. It's meatless, not so good. Obviously. So. Ima imagine just letting your, your cat just wallow all over where you're literally trying to eat food. I don't know. I know that some of y'all cat people are like, that's normal behavior, but not for me. Not for me. I think she owns the place. That was my first meal of the day. Oh. Not I the turned it off. The chess piece angle, not the chess piece angle. So I wrote my girlfriend a little note. Oh my, it's a she literal it. It little open. note. This is actually a heart shaped piece of paper. Um, okay. I actually got this set from my aunt. I think it was uh, Valentine's Day in 2021. Okay. She was sending me gifts for each holiday and I would do the same for her. It was really cute. But um, this is one of the gifts that she got me. I actually keep them. She knows you well. She said, you need some paper to write some shit on. You don't, you don't have enough paper to be writing shit on right now. I don't know why people hate so hardcore on lunch in bed or what? dinner in bed, <laughs> but they don't bat an eye when it comes to breakfast in bed. Girl, 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 that's because, listen, don't, you're presenting it without any context of like, the context that like, you're eating a lot of meals in bed. <laughs> Like, you're, you're missing the, the context of, like, a lot of people, when it comes to lunch and dinner, are already up for the day, moving about their lives, and can't just, like, casually go get back in bed and have lunch or dinner. Like, you're having lunch and dinner in your bed because that's the time you wake up. That is your breakfast in bed. <laughs> like, the fuck? Most people are already out and about in their day. They're not going to go crawl back into bed just to eat some lunch. But since you haven't even left your bed at lunchtime yet. That's why you're eating lunch in bed, bestie. Anyways, so for this meal, we are eating in bed and we're watching 90 Day Fiance. Ordering so takeout. Ordering this Italian place. Ordering, ordering more takeout. Didn't 
didn't, wasn't there a grocery haul at some point in the 10 days of, of showing what I am eating? Or am I making that up? Am I misremembering? Is my remembrance off? Like what happened to those groceries? Had the pesto pasta before, which is the one to the right with like the pine nuts and stuff. And I love it. But then the one to the left is like this spicy uh -huh. ground sausage mushroom so you got both cream pasta situation and i've also never had that type of um pasta shape before so i was like oh my god i want to try it so bad so i also got that one but i was like oh my god i'm kind of picky lately i've noticed as i've gotten older I'm girl you're not picky girl how are you picky what have you been picky about you're so picky that you ordered two different types of pasta girl that's not picky that sounds like you're an equal opportunity eater girl what if i don't like it so i was like okay i'm gonna get this to try no nah, yo, you're, you're gonna like, like it, it girl just, you know stick to my pesto you're gonna like it and then I was like, if I do like it, then I can just eat half a bowl, which is actually what I ended up doing. Okay, so work. So I have half a bowl, and if I have to choose the mushroom and spicy ground sausage, by far, hands down, the better one of two. Okay. But I do like them both. I'm just going to say that. The pesto one is amazing. Get some more stationery. Not going to Barnes and Noble, a place where you could get books that you allegedly love and still finding your way to the fucking stationery section. We don't need more pens. We don't need more journals. We do need more dancing. Chest piece, chest piece, chest piece, chest piece. Oh, and are those candles? You went to the Barnes and Noble and you could get some books that you love so much and we have found our way to the fucking stationery and the candles. I cannot. Could you, imagine, could you imagine getting a voiceover for any of that? You could have explained what the fuck you were doing at the Barnes and Noble, anything. And you gave us royalty free music. What we got at the good old, um, wait, what is this? If she doesn't have at least one book that's not a journal. Um, I want to show you what we got. Well, I got it. Jodi Picoult. Okay, what? thank God there's actually a book. Of my favorite authors. I don't know if this is like a new book, but I've never heard of it. Wish You Were Here. Sounded okay. interesting. All right. So I got that. Work. And I'm thinking about starting a book club. No. So I got like a book club. G First of all, you won't. First of all, you won't ever start one. Second of all, you certainly don't need a journal dedicated to a fucking book club. I swear to God, I'm sick of the journals. Y'all already know that. But like, you have to have a, a specific journal for your book club that hasn't even started yet. You can't just go find, I know you got other paper. You just showed the, the paper that your your aunt sent you, right? Write your book club notes on there if it ever happens. And then I got a mindful year. It's 365 thoughtful writing prompts. How many writing prompt books does she need? I swear the fuck to God. Do any of these help her write anything? We gonna get another Pluvia file poem? Like, I don't get it. I'm not understanding. Because I always love to write about something. Is this the last thing, baby? I always love to write about something. A great, 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 great. 365 creative writing prompts. An I'm actually really Another one? Another one? How much do you think she's actually writing every day that she's sitting down with all these writing prompts? I do not believe it. Okay, so I'm hungry. Oh, some and couscous is to order McDonald's, but I'm not going to. Okay. Have, you don't you don't need another fucking diet Dr. Pepper. Um this couscous, it's roasted garlic and olive oil. It is so easy to make. It literally takes like five to six minutes. Uh-huh. Um 
And the only ingredient you need is this, obviously, and a little bit of butter. Great. So. Come on, couscous. <laughs> Things I don't need, honestly. You show me how to make a box of couscous that has instructions on it and I could figure out on my own. I, I certainly don't need this tutorial right now in this moment, Amberland, if I'm being honest with you. Took me like five seconds. Yes, it's so easy to make, which is exactly why I cut out literally all the footage of you showing us how to make it because we could read the back of the box on our own and do it if we really wanted to. Like, amazing five-star A-plus content right here, Amberlynn. Okay, so I'm eating again. Um, I'm struggling tonight. Okay. I'm not gonna lie about that. Struggling today in general. Um, when I start scrounging for things around the house that I normally wouldn't eat, that's when I know I'm kind of just eating to eat. Okay. I feel the sense of loneliness currently, sometimes. Where's wifey? Where's wifey? So when I cater to that, I just eat. So I'm eating one of my Jenny Craig. Oh God, is this, is this, have we gotten to the part about spilling the tea? Is she gonna start talking to us about Jenny Craig? And it's just a loaded baked potato. Um, I put a serving of ranch on here. Rant. Wait, why didn't you say it like you normally do? Rant. You put a serving of rant on it. Here's the thing. I, I think some of this self-reflection is good. And I think like, if you could actually then act on that self-reflection, you know, she's saying a lot of things that are like self-aware, like, hey, I realize that I like eat things while I'm feeling lonely and that's not good. And I can tell that I'm just like scrounging around to eat things because I'm lonely. All right, let's reflect on that. Let's let's change our behavior. Let's act on on that reflection. You know, there's there's opportunity there. If she would just go the next step and be like, instead of eating, instead I'm going to use one of the five thousand journals I have and like write about how I'm feeling, so that whenever I talk to my psychologist therapist next, I can talk to talk to her about this experience and what I felt. Like there are so many things that like could be good next steps, and instead she just says, "I'm going to act on the negative feelings," which is like her prerogative. I just I feel like there is opportunity to move forward from some of that reflection she just did. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. I don't even know. Does it even wanna taste good? Like now that I've rambled, do I even want this anymore? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my God, this is the story of my life. I mean, then don't have it. Then don't have it. That Again, you just said something very insightful. I don't even know if I actually want this now that I've talked about it. Great, that's like, that's like what the self-reflection should help you do. You know, it's just, it's kind of like, I feel like she's so close to like getting it. Let's do a taste test together. Have you guys been enjoying these, like genuinely speaking? Like, have I you been enjoying this? Series? Yes and no. Yes so. and no. Yes and no. Some of it I have. But yeah, the tea about Jenny Craig. Yes, let's get into that. That's what I came here for, because if you don't remember, she showed some Jenny Craig in her her freezer and she claimed that she had started it again and she just never talked about it on YouTube because she had done Jenny Craig like a year or so ago. I feel like it probably was, but I don't know the dates or the timeline specifically. But she said that the reason she had Jenny Craig now is because she started it again and she just never talked about it on YouTube. Which like, when you, when you wonder, and you in this case is Amberlynn, when Amberlynn wonders, why people don't believe her, it's because she lies by omission. <laughs> I mean, like, she never, like, explicitly said, I'm I'm not doing Jenny Craig, but she was doing this whole thing off camera that she never, ever even talked to us about. It was recent. Yeah. Very recent. Okay. I wanted to try Jenny Craig again, so I went there, you know, did the whole meeting thing, got the food. Uh-huh. And then I just realized, like, it's not for me. <laughs> wow! Well, well, it, it took it took you doing it a second time to just realize it's not for you. You you didn't learn that the first time. 
my psychologist knows I'm not going to be successful doing that. Well, of course, because your your psychologist also doesn't even think you should be focusing as much as you are on dieting, anyways. But you don't you you won't listen to that advice. You'll listen to the advice about apologizing to not or doodle do though. It's honestly just another. I hate to say it, kind of fad diet situation. And here you are, eating their food still. And instead of wasting the food, might as well eat some of it. My girlfriend's ate a couple things from it too. And she's thought it was okay, like it's something special. It, I'm not gonna lie. It sure isn't, but when you were doing it on YouTube, whenever you first did it, you were talking about how great it was. You said it was so good. Their food is super low calorie though. So that's probably why it just doesn't feel like oomph, doesn't have the oomph uh -huh. to it, if that makes sense. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go eat this. Okay. Bye. Have fun. Hello. So honestly, I just feel sad right now. It's just such a hollow feeling. And I've done a little bit of crying. Okay. I'm going to cry some more. Crying does not make you weak. For sure. I cry a lot. <laughs> Frequently. On a regular basis. I think it's it's healthy. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes it's portrayed that way, but it kind of helps. And I'm also trying to remind myself, like, there's so many things that I'm grateful sure. for. Sure, yeah. And... During moments like this, I just have you, to... You can be grateful for things all the time and still be sad. Like, I, I really believe in, like, like expressing gratitude and being aware of the things that you're grateful for. But you can be grateful for a lot of things and still, like, be sad. But also, while we're at it, here are the things that she's, she's grateful for, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what this list is. Mom, fur babies, music, girlfriend, aunt... YouTube, rain. I'm grateful for rain, too. Yeah, for sure. Friends, grass. Are we talking about grass, like, outside or, like, grass? You know what I'm saying? Doctors. Doctors that she never takes advice from, but doctors. Clothes. Water. Roof. Journaling. Poetry. Perfect. Make lists and just be thankful that I'm breathing. You know, I have True. my mom in my life, my fur babies, mm -hmm. my girlfriend, my aunt, mm -hmm. YouTube, you guys, a roof over my sure. head, water. <sighs> I'm going to go journal about these feelings. Yeah, Let's please. Some music. Please, that's what I suggested. Please. I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode 10, season finale. Stop calling this a season, girl. This is not the 1,000 Pound Sisters, okay? Stop calling it a season finale. And hopefully just have a calmer night because I am tired of anxiety. Anyways, thank you guys so much for enjoying these videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow for episode 10, which is the season finale. The, se the season oh, finale. Bye. Okay, bye. All right, Poe was in the room this whole time. I wanted to say hi, so he'll he'll do the outro with me. I know y'all don't get to see him as often these days, folks. I hope I hope she does feel better. You know, it's it's tough. I've been depressed. I've had moments of high anxiety. It does suck to be in this situation, but I'm I'm glad it seems like maybe she has some tools for like journaling. Uh, and things like that to help her with it. I hope day 10 sees her in a much better mood. Uh, I hope that for anybody struggling with depression, mental health, etc. And you know, I feel like towards the end there, don't lick me, towards the end there, I feel like she was, uh, you know, making some progress, at least on self-reflection. She just has to like go the next step and act on it, you know? She just has to like realize the words she's saying and then apply that to like making change. But anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below, hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Follow me on all my social media, leave a comment, hit like, click share, and have a wonderful day. Bye.